Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was actually. You know, we're, we're pretty disappointed in the shoot afterwards. We um, feel that we we had our moments in that game where we could have we could have got something um, out of that uh, draw um, or you know that we'll win, and we uh, and we didn't take that. And again, it's it's down to our own errors and our own fault, really. Can you primarily put that on just the kicking games? I know a couple of penalties have gone your way, then obviously the scoreline would have been. No, no, not at all. Um, the thing is, is it, it doesn't come down to those moments. It's it's the lead up to what happens around that stuff. And there's tons of opportunities. Um, and again, just through lack of um, clarity or, or being in the moment, um, yeah, we've, we've lost those opportunities. Our kicking game was actually pretty sharp, apart from you know a few, few kicks that were missed. And what's going to change now midweek? It's quite a quick turnaround for you guys. There's two very good games back to back with yep. the, you know league leaders. What's what's the uh, what's the aim now? Apart from obviously to get a win with Leinster. Yeah, again with uh, with this, you know, there'll be a change um, in the group dynamic again. Um, the Welsh boys were not considering having those guys back. Obviously, they've got a big, pretty big game themselves this weekend. So, um, again, we've we've got a few change of personnel. And again, what's important for this group is that we make sure that we learn. And again, so we're just going back to make sure our basics are done well. And again, we just that's what we're focusing on. Will you get kicked with any Welsh players at all? Oh, we're not sure at this stage. Um, I mean, we, we always plan life with and without them. So again, it's just a matter of making sure that we everybody in their role is ready to go, and knows knows what to do. If if, uh, if we don't get any back, then uh, the next guy steps in and can do his role. What will we find out? Uh, not sure, mate. It may be Wednesday. I, I don't know. To be fair. How about injuries? Oh, he's back. Ryan he's just come back. Yeah. <laughs> he's hurt himself again. Yeah, we feel for him. Um, again, but all things are, are looking really good. There. He's obviously got a protocol around um, his head knock, and again. Um, we're just going through that, but signs are looking really positive at this stage. How about the rest of you? Your rest of the um, yeah, obviously, Dev Howells has come off on the weekend. Um, again, the significance of that injury is still, you know, there's still, uh, it's not, it's only sort of 48 hours, so again, it's just a matter of finding out a little bit more time what's, gonna, what's actually happening in there. Um, but other than that, I think there's no one else really. Yeah, that's, yeah, I think we're, we're pretty reasonably tidy. So you don't know what the prognosis is with Dev Howells? Uh, not 100 percent. No, all I know um, is in crutches and he's got a moon boot, and that looks pretty bad to me, mate. Okay. And um, Ryan Bevington obviously can't play this week, but you're not sure. No, no, I didn't say that. He's oh. got a pr protocol to go through, and uh, um, all things going well, you know, he, he'll be he'll be featuring. So um, again, we've just got to see. We just, you know, with those with, with head knocks and that, you just got to take your time with them. And there's there is a set protocol, and if he passes it, then he's clear to play. And if he doesn't, he won't. So again, it's just a bit early. For you, how nice it's seeing back on the field and back playing again, obviously it was not Two minutes. Long. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, the potential for him to go on and actually play a part in the World Cup, I mean, is there potential there? Um, I'm not thinking about that at all. All I'm thinking about is trying to get him through 80 minutes of rugby and, uh, and playing well for us. Um, and if he does that, then he's shown in the past that he's got the potential to represent his country. But at the moment, I would say he's a little bit off that. And I think our, our goal with him and his goal has got to be to make sure that he can string some time together for us in games back to back. And uh, that's what we've got to do. It's a big challenge for him. Thinking about our own stuff, just another really good game. Yeah. And, you know, it's another. Hands up, cementing his place, trying to cement his place in that Welsh squad, and obviously he's fighting against some uh, big contenders in the seven shirts. But what do you make? Yeah, I thought um, I thought Tips was excellent on the weekend, um, and again, you know, he's he is such a versatile player. He's he's a great defender and good over the ball, but he can also link and you know and run through the field, which is what you want, you know. So again, I think he's playing really well, and yeah, again, he's just got to make sure he's consistent now, um, and that's the key, isn't it? How important was it having him on the field? In terms of leadership, as much as his ability. To oh, again, it's 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 huge. You know, he's um, you know he's a big part of our team, and uh, any any time that we can he, he can play for us is, is obviously a bonus. So, yeah, again, I thought again he played well, and and others around him play well when he plays well. So I think that's important. Leinster. So it must have come as a, a kind of a, a nice kind of lead into this that the Dragons beat them the other day. Although that's not the Leinster we've come to know. <laughs> What are you making from so far? Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Um, I'm not looking at that too much. Um, again, they typically the Ospreys Leinster clashes are pretty exciting games. Um, and again, we've got a lot of respect for them as a group. And you know, they they they'll be hurting. They haven't played well. Um, but again, they pretty pretty decent performance out, and they so. 
again, that it'll be a tough game. But we, we're looking really forward to this game. I mean, there are always good clashes. It's exciting rugby. The ball's always thrown around, and uh, we're expecting nothing less from them. So, yeah, it's exciting. They're a good side, and yeah, we're going to have to be pretty good. Yeah, mate. And it's been a long time. So, uh, w w yeah, we're looking forward to that. And again, it's always good to play in front of our crowd, and, and uh, well, hopefully, it's going to be a good turnout. Yeah, the, the funds have got a big part to play in there because I was saying that the two crunch games you've got coming up. Yeah, yeah we, and again, you know, it's just uh, it's good, great to be at home, and you know, there's a big strong choir there this weekend. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward. The boys are looking forward to hearing about that and uh, seeing seeing that in action. So again, just it's a great opportunity for our fans to come down and have a look, and uh, our boys to play in front of what is a passionate crowd against uh, a, a pretty good side. How do you view the next two games? Is it going too far to say they're season defining? Because there's a lot on them, isn't there? As far as the top boys are concerned. Oh, I think yeah, I think there's there's no getting away from that. And again, it's just you know. We, but again, I think we you can get caught up in that too, you know. And I think that can be just as as negative. And uh, I think what we've got to do is just work on making sure that we, again, I keep talking about it all the time, is that we just focus on our performance, and and that has proven to for us to be a, a winning result. You know, again, if we can get that, we can get the performance that we're out, we're normally there or thereabouts. And. Uh, Again, Leinster aside, if you don't turn up, they'll they'll put you away. And so again, we just got to make sure that we focus on the detail, focus on the small things that we can control and stay in the moment. And that's what we're focusing on. You both, you're obviously missing players, but they are as well. So, is it a good time to play them from that point of view? To <laughs> um, yeah, but they have got good depth, you know, and, they, and I think that's what they've shown over the years. And again, you know, you lose the Jamie Heaslips of the world or Sean O'Brien's, and the next guy steps in, and so they'll, they'll come with a very strong side. And, and you know, again, it's. They, yeah, sure, they lose some internationals, but the guys who are underneath it are pretty tidy too. So again, we just got to make sure that um, our boys are up for that challenge. And you know, again, we're putting a lot of putting a lot on our next tier as well. And uh, it's a good opportunity for them to show what, us again what they've got and that they what it means for them to be an Osprey. And in terms of uh, Glasgow last week, a particular area you can improve on. What would you target? Or what would you highlight? Have to be better this time. Well, I think um, again, I, I think it's probably no no getting away from it. I mean, our scrum we've got we made massive strides last week, and I thought and I thought for a long period of that time we were really tidy. But again, just again when it counted, we we didn't quite nail it. And again, taking the referees' decisions out of it, um, there's things in there that we can control that we need to get better at. So again, that's that's probably an area that we need to get better. Um, I thought from a drive perspective that we could have been better there. Um, and again, we've covered that off this morning with the forwards just to make sure we. We're better at that, and again, just clarity from our face play and, and what we're trying to do from there. So, probably three key period areas, and I think defensively, we've been doing a lot of work this morning, just making sure that we get our width and numbering up and getting off the line. How much did losing Brian Bevington so early contribute to the difficulty in the scrum? Um, well, scrumming's about eight men, it's not just one. Um, and again, I think Mark Thomas has shown over the last few months, uh, you know, last couple of months that he's more than capable of doing that role. So again, you know, it's great to have Ryan in the pack, but it doesn't just come down to one man. Um, so again, you know, it's hard to know that really, to be fair. So again, I think, you know, Mark did pretty well. Did a fair amount of focus on your second row as well, with uh, a bit of a... Yeah, look, Rory's Rory's a, is a great kid and, and uh, loves loves being a part of this group. And uh, you know he's done he's done really well. Again, he's got you know he's got a fair bit, fair bit in his game to work on yet. But you know what he is showing us is, is that he's keen and he's learning his roles. Uh, he's executing them on the field, and that's really all you can ask from a young player. So yeah, he's doing really well, and we're excited about his future. You were just uh, obviously having a little extra session where you were the forwards. Yeah. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah. Um, is that just in reaction to the Glasgow game, or no. is it something that you do regularly and it just happens to clash with? Yeah, yeah, no, that's just uh, yeah, just just working on some scrum stuff with the boys. We do we do it every week. So again, it's just making sure that they get their opportunity to, to learn. And you know, with a young developing group, you've got you've got to try and speed up the learning the learning time. And you, there's just no way around that by from doing it. And so if there's more we can scenario train and things like that, the, the quicker we'll get better. Um, this is a little bit off. I'd yep. be interested to uh, hear your opinion. I'm sure everyone's aware of the, the turbulence in the card blues currently. And then, from your point of view, in a club like the Ospreys, which has such a positive and happy behind the scenes kind of feel, yep. how can it go so wrong over at Cardiff Blues? Um. You're probably going to be disappointed by my uh, question. I, 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 yeah, I don't know what goes on over there. Um, 
you know, again, I think if you look at it from a Welsh point of view, um, again, for the, you know, there's a bit of turbulence in that club, and I think that from a Welsh rugby point of view, that's going to be healthy. But to, to speak specifically about what's going on there or how I feel about that, I, I, you know, I can't really comment, to be fair. And it's just, I guess, disappointing from their point of view that they've got to go through this again. Have you ever experienced anything like it before? Um, no, Touchwood. And, uh, yeah, no, I haven't.